Let's talk about meetings. I work with people in lots of organizations and they tend to have the same opinion of meetings. They hate them. There are three major concerns I hear about meetings. Number one, people say that they're not productive. Number two, people say they're too long. And third, they say very often they're not even necessary. But it really is necessary to have meetings in our organizations to keep people informed, to solve problems, to make decisions, and to keep projects on track. So let's talk about several ways that you can ensure that the meetings you have in your organization are productive, waste less time, and are interesting enough to get people to participate. First thing we recommend is to start meetings on time. Don't wait for the latecomers and don't catch them up once they get there. One of the things I've found is when you don't start a meeting on time, eventually nobody gets there on time. We want to remember that we waste a lot of time getting people to, to the meetings, getting people to return to work, and the work interruptions really cost us a lot in terms of work hours. So always start the meeting on time. Second thing to do is to make sure you have a clear agenda and get agreement that everyone will stay on the agenda throughout the meeting. Sometimes people deviate from the agenda with side conversations or bring up items that really are not part of the purpose of the meeting. When this happens, the meeting facilitator needs to do what we call interrupt and redirect. And the sooner you do it, the better. The longer you let the conversation get away from the original purpose of the meeting, the harder it is to reel people back in again. Another way to make sure that your meeting is productive and relevant is only invite those who really need to be there. If there's not a good reason to invite an attendee to the meeting, let them stay at work. Don't waste their time. Another reason people dread meetings is they tend to be pretty negative. In other words, we spend a lot of time talking about what's wrong or what our people are doing wrong. It is necessary to talk about those things, but there's a technique you might want to use in your meetings that can make things a lot more positive. We call it roses and onions. It's a little brainstorming session. It only takes a minute or two. The roses part of it is you ask your people, the attendees of the meeting, what are the things that you're most proud of since the last time you got together? In other words, take a few minutes to acknowledge those accomplishments, the things that we're doing right. Now that we've acknowledged the roses, it gave us an opportunity to start the meeting off on a positive note. Next, we're going to brainstorm the onions. In other words, what are those things that we're least proud of or the things that we really need to work on? Another thing to do is make sure that we're summarizing early so that we can end the meeting on time. When we end the meeting, we want to summarize the main points and thank the participants for attending. If you'd like to have more information about how to facilitate and participate in meetings more effectively, please give us a call or visit our website, stesitraining.com. Thank you.